This morning I found myself at the same spot for the fourth day in a row. The reason why I'm here is because there is a very cool peak back there, but it's covered in fog right now, so I'm waiting for the fog to clear out a little bit. The past few days there was no fog whatsoever, so today might be the perfect day. The image that I'm hoping for might finally happen today. I just need to wait a little bit longer. That little bit longer was two hours, but it eventually paid off. I made the image that I wanted. The thing is, when I was taking the shots, a car stopped next to me. They got out of the car, they pulled out a camera, and they clicked away. A couple of minutes later, they were gone. A quick stop, and they got the image that it had taken me four days to make. Like it or not, anyone can make a great photograph. All that is required is to be at the right place at the right time, paying a little bit of attention. Making the actual image is the easy part. Anyone can get lucky. Many of my images were made because of pure luck. Any of my images with a person or an animal in them was made by pure chance. I just happened to be there at the right time. But it also happened with themes and places. I was not expecting to see that American flag underwater during my morning walk, the beautiful tree on a field while I was driving in Indiana, or the full moon in New Mexico, those metallic structures on a very foggy evening at Lake Michigan, or Lago di Garda in Italy, a place that I chose pretty much randomly after having to cancel my stay in nearby Austria. That was the best cancellation ever. The point is that anyone can get lucky once, or twice, or three times, even five. But a time comes when you have to think, is this photographer really that lucky? Photography is about seeking that luck. It's about putting yourself in situations where luck doesn't have any other choice but to find you. And we all need luck to make good images, at least when we make images outdoors. We will never have everything under control. There are just so many things that could go wrong. We're going to fail many times, maybe hundreds, perhaps thousands, before we get to make our next good image. For every image of mine that you might like, you are in seeing the other 100 terrible ones I'm not showing you. We need to allow ourselves to take bad photos. Every photographer does it, even the best ones, especially the best ones. Each one of those failures brings us closer to our next great image. We need luck in our photography, but it is through perseverance that we earn the chance to get lucky. Luck is, after all, not just a matter of luck. The more you try, the luckier you get. This is the only way to unleash the creativity that we all have inside us. There's an image out there waiting for you to be made. It might not happen today, it might not happen tomorrow, but it will happen. And who is to say that next time you grab your camera and you click that shutter, it's not going to be the best image of your life. But for that to happen, you need to be out there. So grab your camera and go out now. I am. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate if you could like and subscribe and share these videos. And if you don't want to miss some of my future videos, do not press that bell icon, disable all notifications on social media apps, and instead sign up for my newsletter. You can find the link in the description down below. I send one newsletter a week with some of my thoughts and my best images and videos of that week. That's all. Thank you so much again. See you in the next one.